This is the Transformers Studio Series 86 Leader Class Dinobot Slag with Daniel. Oh my goodness, this is an absolutely beautiful looking figure. If there ever were a affordable masterpiece Dinobot Slag, this is it. This figure is just absolutely gorgeous. The robot mode screams G1 Dinobot Slag. There's a bit of kibble right here, but it's all understandable. I mean, it's all part of the aesthetic of the robot mode of Slag. The colors, red, light gray, dark gunmetal gray, some gold bits, black pieces. Even this entire head sculpt, for me, is probably the most accurate looking Slag figure we've ever gotten uh, from Hasbro since the G1 figure. Let's start with Daniel. He doesn't really look anything like that. I mean, it's the exosuit. Uh, it could be Spike for all we know, but uh, there's, it's a solid, it's a brick. Uh, ball jointed shoulders and ball jointed hips. It doesn't even transform into his gun. Transform! And he doesn't transform into a car or does he? There you go. <laughs> He's got a peg right here underneath his left thigh. You can actually plug it in on either shoulder of Slaggy. There's also another plug right there. So yeah, pretty cool. Slug does come with his trademark G1-esque blaster. It's done in this pearlesque type of gray. It's not black, I was very surprised, but I'm glad they did it in this kind of color. It's got that shimmer going on. In terms of articulation, the figure has a ball jointed neck. A little bit of a hint right here because of transformation. There is a waist swivel, very cool. The shoulders can go in and out, and go forward and backward on a ratchet. There's a bicep swivel, hinge elbow. Uh, the wrists can go a little bit up and down because of transformation, and they have a swivel. The hips. You go in and out, do the splits, forward and backward, thigh swivel, hinge knees, and of course the ever-present rocker joints. So G1, very, very pleased with this robot mode. Uh, even the kibble on the side, this is that standard G1 uh, aesthetic for slag. They even got rid of it. They put it underneath uh, his calf or his knees. That's very, very cool. That's great engineering on the part of Hasbro and Takara Tomy. And for some size comparisons, here is Slag with Pseudo Series 86 Leader Class Grimlock, as well as the Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Slug. So you clearly see a lot of similarities in the aesthetic. They're trying to get that G1 feel, but he most closely resembles in terms of aesthetic. I love that he matches well with the leader class 86 Grimlock. They both look movie or cartoon accurate. And when pictures were released of this figure, I actually thought he was taller than Grimlock. But if you look head to toe, he is two millimeters shorter uh than grimlock it's just that this cowl on him the uh head of the dinobot mode or the dinosaur mode gives it an illusion that he is bigger than grimlock but grimlock is still bigger head to toe and to give you extra context on their scale here they all are with the voyager class uh, siege optimus prime and i'm loving the scale of these figures so transformation. Transformation can be a little bit tricky, but it's actually pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. And it's very reminiscent of the G1 transformation. Let's get right to it. First, get rid of the weapon right here. Okay, then what you wanna do is you wanna just rotate the wrists like that, and then fold down the fists just like that. Okay, the arms are going to stay just like that. Okay, and then the tail section, you just wanna untab everything like that, even the, the wings, and they're gonna go fold and tab in on the back just like that. Okay, and then what you wanna do is you want to detach the chest right here, and then you're gonna split uh, the shoulders, just so it'll allow you to move the lower part of the jaw. 
or the mouth of the Dinobot or the dinosaur mode. Just put it up like that and open that mouth like that. And then what you want to do is you want to collapse the whole, these joints right here on the shoulders. It's a double joint. There's a double joint right there and right there. And then you want to fold everything down to the center of the torso. Same thing on the other side. Make sure you fold this panel right here so that it doesn't fly off. And then go ahead and just fold that double joint in right there so that the main or this part of his head just lines up properly. And you go ahead and tab that in. Okay, and then tab these bits in and then lock them in place with that torso piece. Okay, and that's that. I'm gonna rotate the waist 180 degrees like that. The feet, you wanna go ahead and fold the ankles like that. Fold these panels up like that. Go ahead and fold out the Dinobot or the dinosaur legs or feet as it were. You just wanna fold back these pieces like this. Go ahead and fold back the ankle. And then what you wanna do is you wanna fold the legs this way, fold up that upper part of the knee all the way up like that. And then fold the hips up like this all the way up like that, and then the legs are just gonna fold in like that. It's a little bit unconventional compared to how the G1 slag transformed, but it does its job. So right there, there are slots for these tabs on the feet, and you're almost done, okay? These bits right here, they're like faux toes. Those are supposed to be the toes, like these toes back in G1, but they made it like flaw toes, I don't know how they did that. And then the wings, they're gonna tab in right there. There's a tab right there for a slot right there. Go ahead and just tab that in. Same on the other side. Okay, and that solidifies the figure. Okay, and then you're gonna sneak in this tail right here, much like G1. Okay, go ahead and fold it all the way down. And then those tabs right there, they're gonna slot into the holes on the feet or the legs. Come on, okay. And then the tail is gonna lock in the actual toes right in place, just like that, okay? All that's left is to fold out the feet, like this. Okay, and then fold it out like this. Okay. There is slag in his Dinobot alt mode in the weapon. You can actually store it right here. That's actually pretty cool. So yeah, very, very cool. Very, very nice, hefty looking dinosaur mode. The horns don't move, the, um, the jaw moves. And then you can plug in a flame effect right there on that peg. And go, and slag was a flamethrower. And then uh, Daniel can hook on onto that. I'll show that off later in one, at the end of the video. So very, very cool. I love this. I love the paint on the dinosaur mode. That gold paint really makes this figure pop. Uh, if you want to be more accurate with the legs, and I, I, based on the, <laughs> some of the scenes we've seen in Jurassic Park, the legs, I think, are supposed to be like this. So yeah. I know about stop. And so some final thoughts on this new Studio Series 86 Leader Class Slag. I absolutely love this figure. If you love the Grimlock figure, you're going to love this figure as well. I think the aesthetic, the G1 accuracy, the movie or cartoon accuracy on this figure is spot on. I am just so pleased with the engineering, aesthetics, and the overall look and feel of both robot mode and alt mode. I I just hope that Hasbro and Takarotomi has plans to do the rest of the Dinobot, Swoop, Snarl, and Sludge. Here's looking forward to that. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this figure. Do you think it is a 
masterpiece in its own right. Hit me up in the comments and as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. If you want to help the channel out, please check out my Patreon account. There's a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching.